this is IBM Museum. And today was supposed to be a joyful day for me in regards to these IBM 7496 executive workstation units. I was provided one by the great folks of Computer Race Set down there in Dallas, Texas, that also went through and released other units to museums and organizations that were working on getting these units working again. And one of those be locations being the Home Computer Museum in, in the Netherlands. Wow, just sending these things, a couple of them even back into locations into Europe so they could be covered just like I've gone through on my channel and worked with the Ardent tool to go through and document these. We've done all that. And I had a glorious live stream at the end of even at that uh, thanks from the Home Computer Museum offering of me offering to help fix the current issue that's preventing them from getting their executive workstation working. And, but there's something that spoiled it. And I knew of this news immediately prior to the, to the live stream. I had the lead volunteer there at Computer Reset contact me on Messenger and said, there's been a break in at Computer Reset. Sometime during this past week, we don't know what day, uh, but we know it was targeted. And the reason that he knew it was targeted and said that is that the remaining two 7496 executive workstations that were there at Computer Reset had plans for those to move those, uh, even for the monochrome unit, to go back to IBM for their archives. Uh, but the facility was, the building was broken into. And those two 7496s were taken, stolen. There were a few other items rather unique in, the, in this sense that for retro computer items, uh, somebody had to know what they were looking for and focused in on the 7496 executive workstations for some reason. Um, I would hate to think that I'm a part of that um, in going through and trying to elevate these systems in my videos, my recent videos, going through that aspect uh, once I, in the month that's been since I, I got the unit from Computer Reset. Um, and certainly those have been featured in other videos, um, even of more than a year back. Uh, there was even a, of a recent video of LGR going through and having a little portion, a little play on it to where they showed those units. Um, but somebody had to have gone through, they're looking at videos and things like that, they have a knowledge of what or what they perceive as the value of those systems. And I, I don't know what the thought process is there because um, they're not going to be easily resold. And the some of the parts on them are fairly common. The Model 30 planer, you gain a system that has a, a planer and drive and other components possibly uh, that aren't going to work at all. Um, the existing 7496s have come through computer reset. There's not really any other source of them. And so there's not a chance to resell or anything else like that. I don't know what the person plan. It's almost like an art, a theft at an art museum going through and taking a, a painting down. And it's not so much even the, in a sense, the value of the notoriety of that painting or anything else, but just the the concept of the theft of that art, of that thing, um, by someone taking that that doesn't have true ownership. They're, you know, it's it's not theirs to, to take. It isn't there in 
at computer reset so you can go through and break in and grab them. Um, it, that's being retweeted out there. Um, it's going to hit the community. People are going to know about this. Uh, the serial numbers are known. I'm going to go through and I'm going to read the statement, in fact. Uh, it says, during this week, there is a break-in at the facility. This was a targeted robbery as the two as two of the IBM 7496 executive workstations were taken. Dallas belief that police have dust has dusted for fingerprints. Further, the serial numbers of these workstations, which are destined for museums, have been recorded. Other items were taken, including cash. There is, and this is a, the current, the last current number I've heard, a $2,000 reward for the return of these IBM 7496 computers. All public events are canceled until further notice. This behavior is unacceptable and reflects badly on the community. So this thief or thieves, have also gone through to where computer reset was in a liquidation process and they actually have a scrapper of someone a company that's standing by basically it's going to eventually look over the facility what remains at some point and everything left after that it goes it's gone and um i mean there's the reserved items and those will still be taken care of um, but everything else otherwise is scrapped and items that otherwise could have gone to hobbyists. In other words, you're shortening the time frame. Um, these thieves going through and doing this for everyone. They're affecting others in the community. They're affecting that 10,000 member group of the computer reset liquidation and people that not necessarily are uh, some many are distant away but some are even looking forward there's been a lot of new membership joining the group to say i'm looking to do my only my only first and only time of going traveling seven eight hours to an event just to come in and who cares what I'm able to get and everything else? I'm able to save some items from being scrapped going through. And those people will now be denied more opportunities to, to go to Computer Reset to help in this process of, of getting computer items, a source of items for low prices, there's many, many people that are going through and they're um, turning around the items that they got at Computer Reset and offering them, even gifting them, sending them to me. Uh, I was surprised by that um, that recent video of, of of a viewer that that went through once we established contact and he sent that stuff for me, paying shipping everything else out of his own pocket to send me some items from computer reset just because, and those are, items are very appreciated. I'll put them right to use everything else, but there's more of that stuff and it's not going to be put to use. Um, it has a high chance of being scrapped just because these are thieves. So if you, if you know of this incident, if you can provide any help in locating who it was, there's that two thousand dollar reward, and I want to go go further to say, uh, yeah, I'd even establish uh, even somebody contacting me otherwise, no questions asked, to say, I'm willing to, I know where these shins are, I I can get them returned back to you, and, and there's uh, the other items too, I mean it's everything they want. Computer reset wants to recover everything that was taken from the building. And I understand that, you know, but if there's any opportunity that somebody could go, go through and um, contact me to say, hey, I can bring it all back. Um, 
I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm going to get that. There's a, you know, I'm not local to the Dallas area, but I can go through and um, make sure that it's been dropped off, that that person, otherwise, there's not any questions of how they came by them or whatever else, it's just that they everything got back to where it's supposed to do. That's what all computer reset wants, is those items to be returned. And it, it that just, it, it saddens me immensely. Uh, like I say, for my participation in the 7496 on how I've tried to go through and show that on video and um, document those units that really didn't have a whole bunch of information on them before. And we've gone through and we've created a page of information, everything else. I, I'm not going to have any video links or anything like that. Otherwise, I might include some text of uh, how it was announced and everything else. Um, even, I mean, there's bound to be crime stoppers. I don't know what we can set up. I, I can sure th go through and edit the, the video description later on to add any um, way of, of arranging a transfer back to computer reset of the items or finding out who has taken them. Otherwise, so they're not willing to bring them back. We're going to find you. Um, and this stuff is unique. You're never, you're never going to be able to sell it in the community. It's marked. It's known what it is, everything else. Um, people setting up filters to search for these items as soon as they go up for market. They're uncommon. And so it's, it's not, you just, you're better off turning stuff back in to computer reset or so it gets back to computer reset uh, than just sitting on it for the next few decades and everything else before you can do anything about it. And that's just being honest right there. So that's how I'm going to end this video. I, I'm not going to go through any other spills or anything else. I may say, you know, that's all I have for now or whatever else. Um, but by all means, leave a comment in the video description, uh, excuse me, leave a comment on the video um, just in ways that we can work to get these items back to computer reset to find out who took them or just how you feel about this. And, you know, I'll go through and, and read through the comments, respond. If there's any way I can help, I'll, I'll do it. Um, and I think that's all that needs to be said. So, really a little bit more sadly, a little bit more muted this time. This is IBM Museum. That's all I have for now. Thank you.